I made some Halloween candles for my wife. Do you think she'll like them? For the bathing skelly candle, I yanked the legs and pelvis off a Walmart skeleton and hot glued the torso and elbows to a Dollar Tree bowl. It's important to pull the legs off so you don't end up with burning plastic when the candle burns down. <laughs> now wouldn't that be silly? I melted three white Dollar Tree jar candles in boiling water and then placed two of the wicks into the bowl where Skelly's kneecaps would have been, if he still had them. I secured the wicks with a wooden spoon and Dollar Tree hair clips because candle making equipment is not needed for these easy candles. I poured the melted wax from about two and a half candles and then I let Skelly rest his aching bones in a nice hot bath. When the wax had cooled and hardened, I removed the spoon and trimmed the wicks. It was good, but I wanted it to be great, so I cut a bit of washcloth and hot glued it around Skelly's head. Ah, perfection. Skelly likes nothing more than a relaxing day at the spa. For the second candle, I glued a couple of bowls together, and then I took the wicks from three black Dollar Tree jar candles and stuck them to the bottom of the top bowl. I again secured the wicks with wooden spoons and hair clips, and that right there is what DIY is all about. I poured in three full jars of wax and let it sit. I poured another three jars into a separate bowl that I'd be needing for candle number three. When the candle was cool, I wrapped a bit of creepy cloth around the waist and hot glued it in place. Then I cut the backs off eight small plastic skulls. I filled each skull with hot glue and pressed them onto the bottom bowl. For the third candle, I primed and painted a Dollar Tree plastic spider candy bowl. I used black acrylic paint mixed with baking soda for a thick textured paint that would give a creepy tarantula feel when dry. I then hot glued the spare candle I made into the spider candy bowl. For the fourth candle, I just hot glued three Dollar Tree plastic skeleton hands onto a black candle from Target. It really doesn't get any easier than that. For the last candle, I got two floating drip tea light holders from Michaels into which I put small poseable skeletons. When I had them just how I wanted them, I put a little hot glue to make sure they didn't try to change positions while I wasn't looking. These two bendable boneheads are finally behind bars, and you know what? <laughs> I think they kind of like it. So here are my Halloween candles all lit up for my wife to enjoy. I really hope she likes them as much as little Skelly here appears to be enjoying his molten wax bath. Follow us for more fun and easy crafts and DIYs.